In this video, we're going to run through the sort of culmination of everything that we've done together. In this grand finale, you're going to get to see what your client sees in the client portal. The client portal is one place that your client has to go to, to log in, to see everything with their customer experience with you as their photographer. Everything we've done together from galleries, to design proofs, to orders, to invoices, to contracts, to account statements, to questionnaires, to everything. There's a lot of things in the client portal and it keeps your clients organized. It keeps everything in one place. Again, it's that culmination of everything. It's the sort of um, end result of the entire experience that you create for them. So let's hop in and look at how that works right now. So I have Heath and Olive open here. One of the things that I want to just quickly talk about is where do your clients go to log in? Um, every one of your brands will have its own login page and you can actually see what the link to that is if you click send email. And if you click variable right here, and then if you click brand, and you click brand client login page. So this page right here is where they would go to log in. And in fact, if I click that, this is where I would go to log in. So if I had a username, if I had a password, it would then pull up that client and show me everything for that client. So this is the link that you can give to your clients. This is the link that I recommend that you give to your clients to save uh, and to bookmark in their browser so that they know where to go. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and close out of that and close out of this for now. Now, the first way to view the client portal is to click the view portal button here. Now, what that does is gives you the ability to view the client portal without having to log in as the client. So if I click this right here, it's gonna go in what's called uh, impersonate. So it's gonna kind of pretend like you've logged in as the client. And this shows everything that the client would see right here in one beautiful spot. And you can see down at the bottom that you're previewing as all of Kinder's. So this is the client portal. Here is the sidebar, everything is here. The client can go between, they can view everything. They have their galleries, they have their dates, they have their questionnaire, they have their orders, they have their account statements, their design proofs, everything is right here in one place. And you can preview this as the client by clicking that view client portal button. But I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this because I wanna walk through how does your client actually get the login information for that. So let's run through this. There's a couple of ways. First of all, if you remember when we had the booking proposal, there was a little toggle that said email client um, once you're finished. So basically send an email to the client with the login details once you're done. If you wanna automate all of this, click that button, the client will get an email, they can go ahead, choose a password and they're good to go. You can also trigger that manually though. If I click into the contact right here, and if I click this little drop down here, and this button here that says email list of shoots. If I click email list of shoots, that sends the exact same email that the booking proposal would send after they book that one time if you had that toggle turned on. So if I click that, that now sends the email to them and they will now be able to go and see that information. I have the email here pulled up in my Gmail. This is what it looks like. Uh, this is set up in Sprout Assistant. We're gonna have Sprout Assistant in a whole other conversation. But basically, when your client clicks this login here button, Sprout is smart enough to know whether or not your client has chosen a password or not, if they've activated their account or not. So if they have, when they click login, they'll just be able to log in. They already have their username, they already have a password, they're good to go. If they have not activated their account, when they click login here, it's going to ask them to activate the account, so to set a password. So if I just kinda set a quick password here, As soon as I click activate account, it will now generate that account for me. Now I have a username and a password and that is how I log in to my account with this particular photographer. So now I'm no longer previewing it as that customer. I'm actually logged in as that customer. So this is exactly how the client would see the client portal all right here. And again, the great thing with this is everything is connected. They can bounce between things. They can open their questionnaire. And then from their questionnaire, they can go to their gallery. And from there, they can go to their contract. So it just builds this really beautiful, fluid experience where they can bounce between all of these things and get access to anything that they need access to with you as their photographer in one place. It's all organized. And they don't have to go searching for emails or go looking for things. And of course, they can go back to the client portal 
by going right here. The real fun thing is that if you have booked a client for multiple shoots, they will have an option to choose which shoot to go into first. So if you have their wedding, but then you also have a maternity and a newborn and then a family portrait and a boudoir and all of these other kinds of shoots, they'll actually, and if it's all linked with the same client, which has one login, like one username and one password, they'll have that choice of uh, choosing which of those shoots to go into. And again, it's all in the same place. So all they have is one login, one password, and everything is there in one place. Now, just really quickly, one of the things that I want to highlight here is if we go back into settings and then open up branding and open up brand, now that we've kind of seen this in a previous lesson here, we had walked through setting up a brand. I want to just kind of show where these things are set. So this email header right here, if we remember, if I go back into uh, images right here, that's what this was right here. So this email header shows up right here. This cover photo that I have right here is what shows up up here in the client portal. This photo right here will show the user. So whatever user that you have on that shoot. So if I close this and then go over here into account and then users. So this user information that there's the profile photo right there of Ashley. That's what shows up there. This shows the brand, Ashley Ray Photography, and then Ashley Ray, the phone number, the email, the website, the address. So it kind of like amalgamates both the brand and the user on that account. So it kind of gives the client the full perspective of what it's like. And the client can actually come right in here and edit their contact info if they need to. Again, they can view their credits and their coupons. They can look at their contracts. Everything is here in one place for your client. And so... That is how you view the client portal in Sprout Studio. Just a really beautiful um, summary of the entire experience that you can give your clients. One place for them to remember. They don't have to go searching for emails of things. Everything is right there in one place for them. You get to keep them organized and you end up being the hero because of that.